My goodness, we've been seeing you a lot lately. Here we are finding you in My Fake Boyfriend. Was this an audition for you to be Nico? Was this something that just crossed your desk? Yeah, um, no, this came the old-fashioned way. I just dropped into my inbox uh, one day. I was in Guatemala scouting <laughs> with my wife-to-be for our, our eventual wedding. Um, and... Um, and it kind of came in and we were in the hotel and we were about to set off on our day. And I, I honestly just threw it on tape very quickly in, in our ramshackle little hotel room and uh, didn't think much of it. And a couple of days later, I found out I was uh, shortlisted, which is when you're like one of, I don't know, three uh, people that are up for, up for consideration then, yeah yeah and then I but I, that happens with some level of frequency and so I also didn't think much of it and then I think two weeks went by I got a call one day uh, from my agent and she said they're about to jump on and do this uh, table read over zoom for the the movie you were shortlisted for and they want to offer you the part of of Nico uh, and they want you to jump on right away they're starting in 10 minutes and I was like what are we talking about I had come back from Guatemala at this point and was in the middle of all these other things a little blur I had no idea I couldn't even remember which project uh, she was referring to hadn't seen the script didn't know anything about it jumped on and it basically did a cold read for the the table read and uh, and luckily it all went well and and now it's been one of my favorite projects to be a part of in my career so Wow, my goodness. Were you familiar then with any of your co-stars before joining them on this? Uh, I didn't know any of them personally. I, I was a fan of Sarah Hyland from uh, from uh, Modern Family. I, I actually just started watching that like nine months previous and, and was kind of barreling through that with uh, with my wife. And uh, uh, Dylan Sprouse, I, I saw him as a kid when I was a kid uh, in like Big Daddy and Friends and things like that. Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, I saw a little bit. That seems to be the thing that most people are drawn to um, with, with him, I, I'm finding. Um, Keenan, I wasn't that familiar with, uh, although he had been on Flash as a regular. I had done a couple episodes of, of Arrow, uh, but never crossed paths or anything. Um, yeah, so a lot of these people were, were new friends and, and they're ones I'm very happy to have made. Were you looking forward to sharing a scene with someone in particular then? Um, Keenan, I mean, honestly, after I, after I got the job and did like my, my research on, on who he was, he was just this incredibly wonderful human being vibrant talent um, I, I watched a bunch of youtube videos of him singing and uh, i was just amazed as someone who doesn't sing at all and and so i was just really excited to to, to work with him this is such a beautiful story uh my fake boyfriend it's sweet it's a beautiful rom-com what were some of your favorite scenes to film for it the, the very top of the movie, I mean, so many of these scenes were, were just a blast. And I was kind of nervous through the entire thing because uh, the character was such a departure for me. Um, but some of the scenes that stand out as being the most memorable and fun was uh, right off the top. They cut it much shorter than, than it uh, had actually been um, during shooting. But we do this dance sequence, this TikTok dance sequence. And, and Keenan is... is like a born dancer and, and I know, right? videos and <laughs> he's like I triple he threat the, yeah i know he does everything i think he does the choreo in his own videos and so he it was so easy for him he probably could have picked it up on the day but i think largely because of of me they they literally sent us to dance lessons to learn this <laughs> this tiktok dance that was like 30 seconds long 45 seconds long that we were going to do off the top of the movie and you see just a a, a quick snippet of it but um Maybe it was so bad that they had to cut it short. I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't pull it off. But um, <laughs> I that was it. that was super fun. I remember practicing like in my in my townhouse to Rihanna's song "Work," um, trying to like just get all the the moves right. And yeah, so that was fun. And then the end is very fun. But, but I don't know. If, I don't want to spoil it for anybody reading this or or watching this or, or whatever it may be. But um, yeah, it's just the whole thing. I'm, I'm completely over the top, zany, crazy, and, and I loved it. I thought Rose did a beautiful job directing this. What kind of advice did she give you while you were filming that you really took to heart? Rose was just so wonderful. Such a revelation to, as a director to work with because she she cares so much. Even, even something like this that's sort of a zany uh, comedy. When you hire somebody like Rose, you're going to get these heartfelt, um, honest 
moments that I really think balance the story. Um, so she had Keenan and I do like a, a faux therapy session that she sort of mediated. We were in character and she would ask us like about the history of our characters and we would naturally sort of improv um, what our history was, but just this exercise like helped Keenan and I sort of build um, this trust and this relationship between mm -hmm. our two characters. And so by the time we showed up to set, it felt like that history was built in. So that was something beautiful that I, I, I really appreciated that she did. You are a part of social media and the film's out already. What kind of response have you been receiving so far? It's been wonderful. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's been just, I think there's been a lot of surprise because of the stuff I've sort of done to, in my career to this point is is so different than this. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I was, I, I'll be honest, I was wondering what that audience, how they were going to receive it. I wasn't scared or anything, but I was, mm -hmm. I was very, interested and I was I was intrigued if it was something that they would take to if there was something they would uh, support and uh, it's been so wonderful to see that they they have completely like they they uh, support me they support my career but they also support projects like this and I, I think that um, that's been wonderful and then it's also opened up this entirely new audience that I'm sort of just getting to know which is the LGBT community um, that embraced us down in San Francisco for the premiere and has embraced me in, in every way possible and who I'm just like falling in love with. So, Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm glad that they really seem to enjoy the film and appreciate your performance in it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been great. What do you think it is about the movie then that really makes it such a special rom-com? Um, I don't know. I guess... What I liked about it is that um, it's it's not afraid to be fun and trashy, um, and and in that it sort of also normalizes the fact that there's an LGBTQ storyline at the forefront of it. And I think that some of the conversations I had with my friends in in that community in the lead up to this movie during this movie. Um, were about the fact that a lot of films that, that dissect this sort of uh, subject matter really focus on the, the gay experience and, and the hardships that come along with that and stuff. And I was, I was really interested and excited to be a part of a project that, that just takes it as a matter of fact uh, circumstance of, of modern life and modern dating, because that's where we are as a society. And, and it's just, it's about the trials and tribulations of a gay man living in New York, and it doesn't, it doesn't need to explain itself, you know. I don't know. I just think it resonates with people, straight, gay, no matter what. I, it's a, it's a beautiful yeah. story either way. Yeah, absolutely. My goodness, you have been a part of many, many, many. I'm looking at your many, many projects over the years. <laughs> uh, we loved you on Unreal. You do a number of beautiful Hallmark tales. Oh, you were on When Calls a Heart. What have been some of your personal favorite projects you've worked on? Uh, this question's always answered with recency bias, I feel like. It's always the latest <laughs> the thing, latest that thing you worked, you worked on. on, yes. Um, which is the, the joy of a career like this, I think. Like, if, if every year something new and exciting invites you in and you get to be a part of it, that's, that's a wonderful way to spend a life. But... Um, um things that stick out we we produce our own films now um, Good. Here, here in edmonton under my my own uh production company northern gateway films and um and so anything that we make always holds a very special place I'm in my sure. heart because i'm behind the camera i'm in front of the camera i literally get to decide who who we work with and stuff and so i love i love that but then just other subject matter like my fake boyfriend this one will always stand out to me because it was so so different and I was so scared to do it but it went so well and so yeah I don't know I don't think I answered it very well but no you did I mean this is a very poignant film and it's a big one for you so I think um mm -hmm. outside of Unreal um I might say it's like one of the biggest projects you've done Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's no hiding that, but for sure, those two definitely stand out as, as larger things that uh, have given me more attention than, than things preceding them. So. What's next for you production wise and on screen? 
Uh, yeah, we were about to go into two back to back films, TV movies here in, in Edmonton that, uh, that me and my team uh, at Northern Gateway Films are producing. Uh, so I'm going to star in both of those. We're shooting them in July and August. So yeah, that's that's what's next. And Nepotism. Then, uh, Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, 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 I do cast myself. <laughs> Just, just teasing you. No, if it's a project that you like, why not, right? If it's something that you really want to step into, why not? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, we touched on our part of social media. Why is that such an important way for you to stay in touch with the people who do enjoy the work that you do on our screens? Um, social media is something that I sort of took a while to come around to. I think I got it for the first time, Instagram anyway, for the first time in, in 20. 16 i was doing a, a christmas movie and all my cast sort of peer pressured me into it and i don't know it, it seemed way too open uh to me i i was very i was much more private person at that time um and so it kind of took a while to come around to but now i've sort of learned how to do it for me in a very authentic Good. honest truthful efficient way that really helps me communicate what I'm up to, what I'm after, what my aspirations are. And I don't know, I just feel very at home with it now. And it, it's a direct line to the audience and not just the audience, but other um, future collaborators. I meet people all the time on, on social media who I end up working with in, in various ways. And mm -hmm. um, cool. so it's just, I look at it as a, as a tool. Um, I mean, like anybody, if I spend too much time on it, I get a little depressed and then I just sort of put it aside um that's more twitter too than much Instagram, doom scrolling yes <laughs> yeah exactly what would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work that you do i don't know um uh thank you for for all the support and and thank you for for the relentless positivity i i've been very fortunate to this point to not experience um the negativity i oh Oh, sorry. I'm getting a. Uh, getting <laughs> this a just in news break. <laughs> yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to trying to secure a location. I've been waiting for them to call me back. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'll, I'll, no, no I'll, I'll call them back after. But yeah, no, I just wanted to say, like, um, I just expect the unexpected. I guess would be the main message. I'm gonna continue cool. to try to do uh new and, and interesting things that uh, that i haven't done before and i hope that you come along for the ride 